This video will discuss nuclear spin as we begin our discussion of nuclear magnetic resonance. So we're going to introduce two operators first that are new operators officially, but they have some similarities to a lot of operators we've discussed already in the quantum chemistry playlist. So the first being I squared, the total nuclear spin angular momentum squared operator. So that works pretty close to the uh, total angular momentum operator we've already seen in chapters on the rigid rotor and the hydrogen atom, except for now it's acting on nuclei. It's acting on the protons and neutrons inside of a nucleus because those can have spin as well, just like electrons can. Okay, and then we also have the Z component of that operator. So IZ is the Z component of the nuclear spin angular momentum operator. So in this case, just like for electrons, we can have the case where it is spin up, alpha, or spin down, beta. So for an individual proton, which is going to have a spin of 1 half, so uh, uh, in the z direction, going to have plus or minus 1 half. So I squared acting on a spin up proton is going to give us uh, s times s plus 1, so 1 half times 1 half plus 1 h bar squared alpha. So the spin up and spin down are both going to be eigenfunctions of I squared and of IZ. So the eigenvalue then is going to be 3 fourths H bar squared alpha, or sorry, eigenvalue of 3 fourths H bar squared. And for beta, it's the same thing. Our eigenvalue of I squared acting on beta is once again 3 fourths H bar squared because it is just the total angular momentum and uh, totaling our momentum squared and not concerning itself with the direction of that momentum. Then we go to the IZ operator where the direction does matter. So the spin of a nucleus can either be up by one half or down by one half. So IZ on alpha gives us plus one half h bar alpha and IZ acting on beta or spin down proton gives us minus one half h bar beta. So the properties of these work much as the same as the spin properties did for electrons. So these functions are both normalized and orthogonal, these spin functions, alpha and beta. So the integral of alpha star alpha over the spin coordinate is equal to 1. Integral of beta star beta is 1. And any mixed integral between them, alpha star beta or beta star alpha, is equal to zero because they're both orthogonal and normalized, meaning they're orthonormal. A lot of the spin one-half nuclei that we'll be interested in in this chapter, well, that'll be primarily the uh, 1H nucleus, um, but we can also measure NMR on carbon-13 nuclei, nitrogen-15, fluorine-19, phosphorus-31, and a handful of other spin one-half nuclei. And the same kind of things are going to work for nuclei that have spins that are different than one half, but spin one half nuclei are the simplest to work with that actually display the kinds of NMR properties that we're going to discuss in this chapter. So for the most part, whenever we're acting on nuclei with these operators, we're considering the action of these operators on the uh, H1, the hydrogen nucleus, which just is going to have a single proton of either plus one half or minus one half spin in that z direction.